We are so close to adding final, final details. Um, one more thing we need to do. So you've done, you've smoothed things out, you've prepped your side, you have it looking exactly the way you want it to look. Um, and then the next thing, it looks like my tires are still flattening out a little bit, which is a little disappointing. Maybe I should have kept it propped up um, more while it was drying. So I might have to go back and tweak that a little bit because you can see those are, those are flat. Um, or maybe I should have taken this um, axle, which you could go back and do, and maybe make it higher so that the, in fact, I might just take this and just do that right now to make sure that this does not get, um, these don't get squished any further. Anyway, um, the next thing that you want to do is you want to start to hollow out your car. The reason you want to hollow out your car now as opposed to after is that you're going to be handling your the up top of your car and if you carve in any details your handprint is going to smush or could possibly hurt all the detail you're about you're going to to add in so i'm going to turn my car over and i am going to take a clay tool now it's important that you understand for my car this here um, these little pieces that I have here these have been added so my base of my car actually is here and the other the big block of clay is like right between those two lines so I would mark in here somewhere you're not digging out the whole thing but you do want to get some clay out of here so we're gonna just go in and we are gonna start to kind of remove and I'm not gonna remove clay where an axle would be I'm only gonna remove clay from under inside the vehicle. It's important that you don't carve too close to the edge or you are gonna carve the side of your vehicle. So like when I'm holding this, I could feel that I was getting a little too close to the side. So you really wanna try and keep kind of right to the middle and the reason we're carving this out is because we don't want the clay to be so solid that it is going to blow up in the kiln. Okay, so I've got all this clay that just came out from the inside of my car. This is also gonna make your, your car a little bit lighter obviously because you're removing all that clay um, and I might I think I'm gonna go in and I might remove some clay just kind of in the middle here and maybe take a just kind of remove some clay here be careful go slowly be careful and make sure that you are not damaging the structure of your car. So all I'm trying to do right now is just kind of basically thin the clay out so that I don't end up with issues um, in firing the clay car with the clay being too thick. And if you need help from me, that is, that's totally fine. Um, notice I'm trying to keep this support as much as I can. Um, and I'm just going to go in and just do a little bit more right in through here and then I think I'm gonna be done I think that's it I don't want to take away too much of that that support that I have now because I was having issues with my tires being flat I'm gonna go back in and I am going to kind of create again my support system for my car here trying hard not to damage anything I've already done. And I'm gonna take some of this clay that I carved out and I'm gonna add just a higher bump here. So hopefully my tires won't flatten out any further. And the clay will, it'll sit there as opposed to um, on the tires. And I think I'm going to go in and do an axle on this side. And part of the problem is that, and it's not really a problem, but 
I've been working on this um, for a while and so um, I've been working on it consistently so I haven't really let it dry out a whole lot um, if you were to if your clay was a little bit more dried out more leather hard stage after you've done the wheels and you kind of had them propped up for them to dry while in storage um, then you might be fine might be totally fine but because I haven't really spent time letting it dry and get to that leather hard stage um, before carving out the my wheels are getting a little flat so we're going to try that and maybe I can try and round these out just a little bit more and I am playing around it's been a long time since I've done this so a lot of it's just trial and error do what you think is best I don't want my car to look too much like it's up off the ground because I do want the cars to kind of look like the, the tires to kind of look like they're sitting on on the ground. So I'll have to play with that a little bit. Um, you may have to go back and kind of just tweak where you have your fingerprints and at that stage once you have that done you've hollowed out your inside um, finally yes we're there finally your next step is going to be um, adding those finishing touches those details to then let your car um, sit out so that it can get bone dry and be prepped for to go into the kiln for firing so that's your next step um, Go back, make sure your, your, your tires are supported, um, change your axle if you need to like I did, um, and then go ahead and really take your time and just hollow out. I'm happy to check your car inside to see if you're going too far or not enough, um, so feel free to have me over to take a look at what you're doing.